So are you one of those people that do you find sometimes easier than Okay, Absolutely. yeah. There, I know quite a few girls like that. Absolutely. I mean, Because you're tight, right? It's, it's so tight. And I actually just tweeted about this the other day that it's actually kind of frustrating and it really bums me out sometimes, like, how tight it is. And I know people, a lot of people commented on that and said, like, either, oh, I want to f*** that tight p-, mm-hmm. Or they said, like, you should be happy you have a tight p-. Yeah. And I'm just like... Maybe if I was, like, a regular civilian girl that just wanted, like, quick validation from people telling me, like, oh, my God, your Mm -hmm. pussy's so... But, like, when it's actually a career and a job and I have to get hard in the... Probably, like, four times a week at least, it definitely takes a toll on my body and my... Yeah, it kind of hurts. Like, what I'm realizing is that, like... When people don't use enough lube, it creates, like, this friction, and it's, like, tearing away at the skin. Bet- oh, like, But, like, it's fine. Like, I always recover. I just need to, like, have that recovery time. It always bounces back, but it's just, like, you know. Do you I book your boy-girl seats then with, like, time in between them? Yes. Um, Spiegler, when I first went with Spiegler, he asked, like, you know, how many boy-girls can you do in a row? How many anals can you do? And I told him, like, you know, I can do, like, two, sometimes three boy-girls in a row depending on the guy, on the guy yeah. his dick size, what type of scene it is. Yeah. But I would much prefer to have, like, you know, a boy-girl than a girl-girl than a boy-girl than mm-hmm. an anal. And just, like... I like the fact that the scenes I do are versatile because it's not just like constant strain mm-hmm. on my pussy. That's yeah. It. So, I mean, do you, f- so what do you do then? Do you just like have to warm it up before a scene? Do you ever use toys or you just have like the guy start um, off real slow? I just really like, they just use a lot of lube and start slow. It, it stretches out like mm-hmm. eventually it. And when I get aroused, like it opens more, that's mm-hmm. just like female anatomy. But, um, Oh my God. I lost my train of thought. This happens all the time. Um, <laughs> about getting your pussy to open up. Yeah. About getting it to open up. It just opens, but yeah, they definitely have to take it slow at first. And sometimes like, I find it funny when people say like, it's the myth that the more a girl gets fucked, like her pussy is loose. Mm-hmm. I just think it's so funny because it's actually the exact opposite. The more you have sex in the pussy, it gets swollen and it shuts mm. and it's like clamped shut. So yeah. that kind of happens to me sometimes. It's hard to do a boy girl if it was like a really tough scene the day before and then to do another one, it just takes longer. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, it was interesting. There was this one girl that I worked with who she brings a vibrator and she uses it on her clit before mm-hmm. the boy girl scene. Like yeah. even just for a couple of minutes to like get her aroused. And yeah. she said it helps her open up so much. And yeah. I was like, that makes so much sense to me. Yeah. But I'd never seen anybody else do that. I used to do that for anal. Mm-hmm. Like when I first started, it was, um, it was a way to associate like the quote unquote pain of anal mm-hmm. with like sexual pleasure. Mm-hmm. I never really had like serious pain, more just like, uncomfortable stretching yeah. yeah but um using the vibrator definitely helps but i don't even use that anymore because i've kind of like learned about my asshole's like elastic what elasticity. is the word? elasticity yeah mm-hmm. i've learned about it and i know how it works now and um after doing that scene with dread i kind of i just like no you know i just have an instinct now for like how it's going to be that day. And it's just like a comfort, a a thought in my head, knowing like no matter how scared I am of this dick, like I will take it and it won't hurt. Because if I can do anal with dread without pain, then I can do anal with anyone. So it's kind of like a confidence booster. It was. And that was back in September. So I've definitely within the last like eight or nine months, I've gotten so much better at anal and I do DP now and it's amazing. I just love this journey of like discovering things about my body. It's so crazy because I never would have known that I can do this type of like sexual acrobatic things 
Yeah, it's definitely and... sexual acrobatics for yeah. sure. I mean, I'm always so impressed by you guys when I'm filming these things. I'm, I'm like, I don't know how you do that. Yeah. I'm such a pussy when it comes to no. sex. I'm just always like, my knees, my thighs, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Like, I'd be the whiniest yeah. porn star. Well, sometimes I'm like, like, if I'm just not in the mood, and it kind of sucks sometimes when, like, you're not in the mood and you still have to go to work. 